what's up, y'all? What's up, what's up, man? Come on in, come on in. We chillin', we chillin'. Yeah, I don't know exactly what time it is. We back here to search some more game on the ground from Hungry Hounds. We just got the pound and ready for the next round, man. With that being said, I hope everybody's had a good day today. My day's been all right. My day's been pretty chill, pretty regular. Average day in the regularly scheduled program, you know. There ain't much to complain about. There ain't nothing really to complain about. It's a brand new day today. A lot of people get mad because they got to wake up the next day and keep doing the same things that they do. But honestly, man, if you can't wake up the next day, what's the point of even living, you know? Uh, there's a lot of people who complain about having to live. I guess with a lot of people who don't even get to live, you know. So it's like the fact that you're complaining about having a privilege to live and breathe the air that you have around you. It's crazy to me. This generation is so complainful and ungrateful. It's not even funny. Man. They complain about everything they can complain about. Everything they can complain about, they will complain about it. And it just goes, goes to show you that their minds is not where they're supposed to be at all. See? And uh, this is where I'm going. This is this is what I'm going to use to uh, to 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 tell y'all how this generation ain't got their minds where they're supposed to be at. Is uh, you know you got people, grown men, grown men, right? This this man, I don't remember what his name, his first name is. I can never remember his name, but his last name is Muhammad, right? <sighs> he has a, his own. He's a he's a UFC fighter. He's a UFC fighter. Yeah, this is the first one. He is a UFC fighter who has his own fight that is coming up soon with somebody else. And he is mad because Colby Covington is getting a title shot after being gone for a year. He literally came back. He cut the weight that he needed to cut. He made the weight in the weight that he needed to be at. Uh, he did what he's supposed to do to be able to come in and, and a shot at the title fight, the title, the, 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 the championship, we don't, whatever it's called, you know, I'm not too, too terribly big in the UFC, but uh, this is my problem, man, is that you got people who are literally grown men talking about, yeah, man, when I see you in Florida, I'm going to do this, that, and third to you. You're getting on the internet. You are doing interviews with a bunch of random platforms. So you can go and talk about another man who has the same hot dog that you do, who has the same bouncy balls that you do, who has the same man cave that you do, uh, it, but you got a whole fight coming up, and you're not even worried about the fight, you're not training for the fight, nothing, you're worried about trying to get somebody kicked out the UFC. He lost 18 pounds in one day on a day's notice. Yeah, see, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying, man. He came in and did, Kobe came in and did what he's supposed to do. Uh, a lot of these people are just mad because they don't have the same drive that he do. He has to drive to, to do what he got to do so he can win, you know. Because um, if you don't got that drive, homie, you ain't going nowhere. Not just in the UFC, but anywhere in life, period. If you don't got that drive to win anything that you do in life, you ain't going nowhere. You're going to be like them ghetto kids over there in the ghetto neighborhood who ride around in the car. Uh, uh, you know, getting off on that flower and they pass it back and forth. They go home and... One homie goes in the bathroom, the other one goes into his sister's room and bends his sister over and does this, that, and third to her. Uh, right behind the back, yeah. Uh, that's what a lot of y'all be like when you don't have the, 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 the drive and the willpower to win. You become bums like the ghetto kids. They mad because he support. Yeah, 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 yeah. They mad because he supports somebody. All them ghetto kids are mad because they support somebody too. Guess what? Get over it. You know, everybody has the right to choose who they support. A lot of people support the disease that we have as, as already in the position of power. A lot of people support the one that was kicked out. Uh, a lot of people support the ones that aren't even in that position of power to begin with. It just everybody has their own opinion on who they support. And I will not agree with your opinion all the time. But guess what? It doesn't mean that uh, you have to shut up. It just means that I'm not going to listen to your opinion because your opinion does not matter to me. I don't care about your opinion. I don't want to know about your opinion. Uh, I don't have to know about your opinion. You can speak your opinion all you want to, but it doesn't mean that I'm going to listen to it because I will not be forced to listen to nothing that I want to listen to and you cannot tell me to, to, to shut my mouth either. You know, I do what I want to do, when I do it, how I do it, where I do it, what time I do it. You know, I do whatever I want to do. How, when, where, and everything else in between. I do what I do. Just like Eminem said, I am whatever I say I am. Because if I wasn't, then why would I say I am? I do what I do, what I want to do, how I want to do it, where I want to do it, what time I want to do it, what place I want to do it. 
Because that's what I do. I can't nobody stop me. Can't nobody tell me what to do. Can't nobody tell me not to do nothing. Because don't nobody, don't nobody pay my bills. Don't nobody cook me food. Don't nobody clean my apartment for me. Don't nobody do anything for me that I don't already do. So with that being said, if she ain't doing none of those things, she ain't going to sit there and tell me what to do. That's 100% facts in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot of y'all, a lot of y'all out there have to rely on somebody else to do things for them. Y'all got to rely on your mommies to clean up the house for you. You got to rely on your sisters to go clean your room for you. You got to rely on your daddy to go pay the bills for you, put food on the table. A lot of y'all can't even do the things that you're supposed to do when you're grown. You know, and it just goes to show you that y'all don't, y'all don't have no right, y'all don't got no place, y'all don't got no reason to be talking to somebody who actually do the things that they're supposed to do as a human being. But yeah, yeah, look at this fool right here, look, you trying to go live with me, and I'm going to tell you straight up no. Like I said, y'all can't tell me what to do, you want to go live with me, and I'm going to tell you no, depart from me, because I don't know you, I don't want to know you, I don't care about you, I never, I never asked for you to try to come up in here. Well, it's good, Elias, appreciate you for tapping in. But man, this is why I say what I say. This generation is so backwards that you got somebody who has his own fight, who has his own thing, supposedly has his own thing going on that he's supposed to be having going on, and he's worried about somebody else, another man who has nothing to do with what he got going on. And he's saying, when I see him in Florida, I'm going, mm, mm, mm. no, no, no. You got your priorities backwards, fool. Yeah, 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 you got your priorities backwards. You worried about what another man is doing in Florida. Uh, when he go to see a, when he go to watch an event that that he's not even competing in right now, and you got this fool, this Muhammad fool over here talking about, yeah, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna smack him in the mouth when I see him. I'm gonna do this and that to him when I see him. I'm gonna make him call me daddy when I see him. I'm gonna make him get on his knees and beg for forgiveness when I see him. Uh, and you talking about he has dating a white privilege? Guess what? That, that them words right there, them words need to to immediately expel him from all UFC fights. Period. You're so mad that you got to resort to to somebody's uh, color or ethnicity, as you might say. Uh, but you don't want to acknowledge the hard work that he's put in. You don't want to acknowledge the fact that he cut weight in two days. You don't want to acknowledge the fact that he's one of the best fighters in that weight division. You don't want to acknowledge any of that. You want to acknowledge this right here. That goes to show you, you're just salty. And, uh, uh, yeah, you, 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 you got a dark heart right there, homie. Yeah, yeah. Anybody who can't win against somebody so they decide to play the victim by looking at this right here, they have no real drive in their heart. They have no real uh, passion. They don't got nothing. What's good, Mike? Yeah, what's up? What's up? Appreciate you for tapping in. But, no, nah, them people don't got nothing. Nothing. Nothing, as Dubai would say. Nothing. They don't got nothing in here. Nothing in here. Nothing in their soul. It's all empty. The only thing there is hatred, uh, jealousy, envy, uh, spitefulness. Because they don't, they don't have, and they can't do what the other people can do. Who are actual have hearts, who have actual brains, who have actual souls. They can't do the same stuff that they do because they can't put in the same work that they can because they're not really about it. They want the part. They have to the participation trophies. Yeah, they want that gold participation trophy. They don't want the real first place gold trophy. They want the first. Uh, they want the gold participation trophy. See, that's, that's one thing that's wrong with this generation is everybody wants to get rewarded for participating. Are you supposed to get rewarded when you go to work every day for showing up? No. Do you get money for going to work and showing up for a minute and then going home? Okay, I haven't participated for a minute, so give me my day's wage. Yeah, I'm going home now. I'll see y'all later, deuces. No, it don't work like that. You show up, you work the whole shift, you clock out, you go home, and that's what you get paid for. You don't you don't get paid to show up, clock in for five minutes and say, All right, y'all, I'm gonna see you later, bye bye. No. It's the same thing with sports. You don't you don't participate. You don't participate with uh uh any type of sports or nothing like that for uh, uh a trophy. You gotta actually win it. You can't win a trophy by participating in, in, in one fight. You can't win a trophy by participating in one football game and losing. You can't participate and in, in, in win a trophy uh, in a soccer game because you kicked the ball towards the goal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't, you can't do none of that stuff, you know? And it's crazy how people think that they're automatically entitled to uh, something that first place, only first place can get. They are they automatically entitled to something that the first place winner has already gotten, has already uh, 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 earned. You know, they put in the hard work, the sweat, the tears, the time, 
And you people over here who don't know how to do any of that stuff because you're too lazy. So yeah, you know what? I'm going to walk up to them and I'm going to take it from them because I decided to participate for 30 seconds. So with that being said, give me my gold medal. No, 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 no. Give me my title shot because I lost three fights in a row, and if I lose this fight too, then I should have a part. That I should be able to participate in the, in the shot for the title. No. It does not work like that. I promise you, it does not work like that. Dana White said it don't work like that. He said you got to put in the real work and the real effort and the real time. You gotta show that you're really bad it and that you want it. Uh, you gotta prove yourself by winning different fights. Otherwise, he ain't gonna give nothing to you, homie. Yeah, he ain't giving nothing to you. You just, you just, all you do is take money out their pocket. You don't bring nothing to the pockets. So with that being said, they gotta get you up out of there. Same way that a YouTube did in Sean Campbell. He wasn't bringing that money to their pockets. He was taking it out of their pockets. So they had to get him up out of there. Bye bye. So yeah, man, we got dudes crying about other dudes in real life. <sighs> See, this is where reputation comes in. Kobe Covington has a reputation for being one, if not the best fighter in his weight division. And that reputation is what has earned him his title shot after coming back after a year and cutting weight. Uh... He already faced Leon Edwards and quit because he got poked in the eye. That's that participation trophy mentality, man. That's that participation trophy mentality. You can't make this stuff up. You quit because you get poked in the eye. Oh, boo-hoo, guess what? You seen, uh, what's his name? What's his name? Uh, oh, what's the fool that just fought him? I just had, I had his name, and now I can't remember uh, if y'all remember in the comments below, the dude that just filed me on Edwards and lost, uh, I think it was twice. Was it twice? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it was twice, or was it third, three times? I can't remember. Uh, y'all, let me know what that, what his name was. But he got poked many times, and guess what? He didn't. Uh, he didn't. He didn't quit. He didn't give up. He 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 shook it off. He said, "I'm cool." Uzman, Kamaru Uzman. There it is. I knew it was case something. I knew it was K something, but I couldn't remember what it was. But yeah, he got poked many times in his eye. Didn't give up. Didn't quit. You know, he he uh, Leon was fouling by grabbing the fence when he was about to throw him over his shoulder. He didn't say, "Man, this guy's fouling. I'm done. I'm done." No, he didn't say that. You know what he said? Bet. Let's keep it going, cause I'm gonna really put him to shame. Even though he didn't put him to shame, he still lost. But he didn't give up like a little wuss. Uh, uh, Leon kept grabbing his glove, keeping him from being able to do what he was supposed to do. He didn't, he didn't say, I'm done, I'm done. No, he didn't say that. No, he, uh, he kept going. He kept, he kept fighting. He kept, uh, he kept on going. You know, <laughs> guess what? I don't, <laughs> yeah, look, this is the definition of somebody crying about another man right here. That is the absolute definition right there. Uh, I can't. You think I care about what somebody else think, huh? <laughs> yeah, you think I care about what somebody. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, you can keep on letting Keisha out. Keep on letting Uncle Tom out. Keep on letting Andy Karen out. I really don't care. Because I'm going to keep doing me. I'm going to do what I do. And you can sit around and be mad at it all you want to, but I don't really care. You know why? Because it keeps me going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all really sit here and think that the hate is going to stop me. It keeps me going. All you do is add f fuel to the fire. That's all you do is add fuel to the fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. I really don't care. I can care less about what nobody thinks. You see me wearing this hat all the time, right? So what does that tell you? I get up on here every day wearing the same thing. Guess what? The, what, what did I tell you? That I don't care. I don't care. <sighs> this generation, man, everybody wants to worry about what the next man is doing. Grown men want to worry about what the next grown man is doing. You can't make this stuff up, man. It's crazy. It, it's unnecessary. It is very sus. And you can't make it up. Yeah, man. Don't be like that Muhammad dude and sit around and cry about a whole nother man.
when you got your own thing going on. That's what's crazy to me. And with that being said, get up out of my life, fool.